On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up Jeopardy! Deluxe Edition on Super Nintendo! Alex Trebek is the most mustached Canadian in existence! Scott vs. Box! This is Jeopardy! See what I did there? Deluxe Edition on the Wii U. No, 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 no. On the Wii. And no, 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 no. On the Neo Geo. No, sucker. It's the Super Nintendo. That's right. I found a copy of this game. Brand Spankson's new. For those of you who are old, you remember these things? A little plastic tab and it hung on, hung on the little, uh, little rack there. That way you knew this was legit. This has seriously never been opened. It's kind of been poked a little bit, but I didn't do that. Someone else is a poker. Probably that no good Pat Sajak. So yeah, Super Nintendo. Never been open. How crazy is this? Mint in package. And by mint, it's in pretty good condition. Licensed by Nintendo, made by Game Tech. Over 3,500 all new questions that are probably really dated for its time. Featuring your host, Alex Trebek. Look at that mustache, huh? There's your real Magnum P.I. right there. Sexy. Then on the back, we see, So you think you're good enough to be on Jeopardy? Why are you coming at me like that, Jeopardy? I got your game. Sure, I got it like 20 years after the fact, but I got your game nonetheless. When was this? 1993. This is basically 20 years after the fact. Well, here's your chance. Game Tech's new Jeopardy! Deluxe Edition featuring Alex Trebek puts you on stage against computer-generated opponents or up to two friends. Choose a category and in an amount... And what? Uh, choose a category and an amount, and if you can ring in fast enough with the right response, you're on your way to becoming the new Jeopardy! Champion! Features include digitized photography of the television studio. What? Digitized photography? Of a television studio? Contestants? And Alex Trebek himself. Oh my gosh. Guys, they didn't say that he's digitized photography. Alex Trebek is in the game. They must have cut his head off and just shoved it right in there. Amazing! Um, as well as Alex's digitized voice. <gasps> they cut his head off and then they digitized his voice. That's barbaric. You're a bunch of barbarians, Jeopardy. And that oh-so-familiar theme music. Over 3,500 questions and answers from television's longest-running game show will provide you with hours of entertainment from your very first question all the way to final Jeopardy of death. Uh, and then we see some stuff on the box here. We see uh, this goon who's, uh, his name's, what's his name? Stage? I think his name's Stage. Uh, he's got 800 bucks. Old Billy, the old dum-dum here, he's minus 200. Just get out of there, Billy. You're a dunce. And then we got Jenny, who's got zero dollars. But she's gonna come up soon because Billy's a moron. And then uh, the categories, boy, these are hard to read. Uh, I wanna say... One is macaroni and cheese. Uh, this one is letter openers. This one is farts in an elevator. This one is or uh, Orson Welles. This one is uh, sandwiches that Orson Welles ate. And this one is butterscotch candies. Wow. And then you see this guy, Billy Wagerin. Now he's got a hundred bucks. We're gonna blow it, Billy, because you're a dummy. And then our final category is North America. Jenny, it is your turn for Final Jeopardy. Isn't that exciting? Wouldn't you see that on the shelf and go, oh boy, it is 1993 and I must own this game for the price of $3,000 because that is what these games cost then, right? That's why we're all broke today, kids. You never knew. Now you know and knowing is half the battle. Canada with Alex Trebek. Okay, let's open it up. So we got this little dent right here. It's kind of, eh, it's giving me a little leeway so I'll go with this side. Boom! What's gonna happen? What's gonna fall out of here? Oh, we got warranty registrations. Uh, cause that's, that's what you did when you got your game. You're like, I gotta sign this up for a warranty. Oh, and there's the game. Well, let's get to the boring crud first. Okay, first. Oh, these were always so cool to see cause you saw the Super Nintendo Entertainment System logo. And then you saw this stuff about, uh, epilepsy warnings. Really? This game? Jeopardy? 
can cause epilepsy? I thought it was supposed to cause uh, smarts in the brains. Huh, who'd have thought? This game is a game of death. And then we've got this right here. Warranty registration. Majesco Sales Incorporated, 244 Fernwood Avenue, Edison, New Jersey, 08837. Oh, who purchased this game? Male, female, and age. Oh, you creepos. Who plays the game the most? Male, female, age. All right, this is just walking into creepy territory. Was this game purchased for a player? Oh, or was it somebody else? How did you hear about this game? Scott versus Box, that's one of the check marks there. How would you rate the gameplay? Oh, one out of 10. How would you rate the graphics? What other game systems are in your household? Super NES, 3DO, no one had one of those. A Saturn, a PlayStation, or a PC? Which magazines and comic books do you read on a regular basis? All right, let's find some weird ones. Okay, Game Pro, Electronic Gaming Monthly, Nintendo Power, well that's gone. Sega Visions, oh that's for Sega users that were on drugs. Video games, game players, Die Hard, what? Die Hard had a magazine? That's a nice suit, Mr. McLean. Where can I buy that? JC Penny? Why look, they're having a sale. Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Acclaimed Comics, Sports Illustrated, Rolling Stone, Spin, Starlog, oh that was a cool magazine. Flux, Pulse, Wizard, that's all one thing. Hero, Image Comics, Malibu, Comics, Boys Life, <laughs> Electronic Entertainment, Other, Girls Life. What kind of games do you play most often? Yo mama, boom, take that Trebek. Uh, and then we've got this super cheap version of the instruction booklet. It's in black and white, how cheap is that? What is this? That's super cheap. How to use a controller, in case you're Billy, a big old stupid head. Oh man, Billy's never gonna hear the end of it. So you got the six buttons on this controller. Oh, the good old days. Oh, what a fine system this was. What a fine controller it had. Oh, look at Billy, back down to zero. And Stage and Jenny are whooping your butt. Oh, Billy, you're disowned by your parents. Uh, and then, oh, here's Billy with $600. That's in his dream. Uh, and then, what's in the end? Oh, and then they shot Billy in the head because he's got minus 200 bucks. You suck, Billy, you suck. And then uh, we got the game here. Oh, look at this. Oh, it didn't come with the case. It didn't come with the little plastic thing, right? Does it? Does it have it? Oh, what a sham. These games also used to come with like this plastic little cover right here to cover it from uh, dust mites and um, and boogers. Oh, but look at this. Look, it's in, it's in really good condition. And you had your top label right here. So you have it on your shelf and you see like, all right, what am I gonna play? Am I gonna play all these cool games? Like, oh, am I gonna play Act Razor? Oh, I'm gonna play uh, Zombie A's Day, My Neighbors, Jeopardy, no. And then you moved on to other super awesome fun games with everybody. But occasionally you pop in a game like Jeopardy, especially when you memorized all the questions. So there you have it. Super Nintendo, brand new. I opened it right out of the box. Jeopardy Deluxe Edition with sexy Alex Trebek and his mustache. Oh man, subscribe to Scott vs. Box so that way you never miss a crazy unboxing video. And send me something to this address right over here. You know what? I'll open it and give you a free plug on my show. And click right over here and you'll see more video game unboxings. What, like Atari? Ugh. Oh, what, like Coleco? Ugh. I don't know, maybe something called X-Borks?